art friends, we're really excited to draw with you again today. And in this video, what are we drawing? A Pomeranian. Yeah, a really cute dog. We hope you're gonna follow along. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use a marker. You also need some... Paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. Let's first draw our Pomeranian's face over here in the left side of our paper. I'm gonna draw a letter V, a small letter V for the nose. And then we can draw the top of our Pomeranian's nose, an upside down triangle. And then we can draw the mouth. I'm gonna draw a curve that comes out of the bottom of the nose and out to the left. And we'll do the same thing out to the right. It's gonna be so cute. <laughs> Now let's draw the eyes. I'm going to draw a circle about this big on the left and the same size circle on the right side. There you go. Then inside of the eyes, let's make them look shiny and draw a smaller circle. This could be the highlight or a reflection. And then let's color in the big circle, but leave that little circle white. Eyelashes. I like it. It looks really cute. Thank you. Okay, now let's draw the top of our Pomeranian's head. We're going to draw a little letter M up at the top in the middle of the face, but a higher. Now on the right side, let's draw a letter A or an upside down V. And repeat that same size letter V, upside down letter V, on the left side. Now let's draw the shape of our Pomeranian's head. I'm going to start inside of the ear, and we're going to draw a curve that comes out of the ear and down. Oh, we could do the same thing on the right side. I'm going to make go. this longer. Okay. Nice, that's perfect. And then let's draw a little curve that comes up for the fur. Then we can come back down for a zigzag. Now let's let's add another zigzag that comes down further. And then we can do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna curve up, down, and then down further and back up. Now we're gonna make the outside shape of our Pomeranians really fluffy and come down to a point. Whoop, I drew it over there, that's okay. <laughs> we're gonna draw another curve that comes down further on each side. And then let's draw another zigzag that comes up on each side. And then we can come down further. Oh, well, it's looking cute. Let's draw another zigzag back, back up, a short one. Now let's draw a guide point right in the middle of our Pomeranian, but we're gonna come down maybe right about there. So we can come down right in the middle and maybe there. I'm going to draw a zigzag that comes down, back up, and then connect into that point. Yeah, let's do the same thing on the right side. Zigzag down and then back up. Let's color in the nose and also we could draw a little tongue sticking out. <laughs> That's cute. Now let's draw the legs. Let's draw the first one sticking out right here on the right. We're going to draw a line that comes down. Then let's draw the other side of the leg. We're going to start in the same spot, but leave a little space and come down. So it's about the same. I can match on both sides. And I got a little closer towards the bottom. And then let's draw the first paw. We're going to draw a curve that comes around like this, down, back up and then connect to the other side. Now let's repeat those same steps for the left leg. We're gonna draw a line down and then we're gonna leave a little space for the other line and draw it right next to it. And then let's draw this curve that comes around for the paw and then connect into the other side. We did it. And we could also draw two little toe lines too. <laughs> now we're ready to draw the belly. Let's start right here and we're gonna draw a curve going up and then down. They're really short, it's not very long. 
Then we're gonna draw the back leg. We'll start up inside the body and we're gonna draw a curve that comes down like this and then curves the other way. It kind of looks like an S curve. And look, I'm stopping in the same spot as the front leg. Oh yeah. Now let's draw the other side of our leg, but we're gonna start really high. I'm gonna start right about here and we're gonna draw a curve that comes down and then we're gonna stop right there in the same spot as the other line. And you get closer together. Yes, there you go. And we want this distance to kind of match the front legs. Now let's draw the back paw. We'll do the same shape, come out, curve around, and then connect into the back. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> let's, add, let's add the two paw lines too. It's looking really cute. Okay, now let's draw the tail. And usually they're really puffy and they kind of curve back around. So we're gonna start here, we're gonna curve up, and then we'll stop. Then add a little zigzag line and curve up even higher. Let's add more zigzags and we're gonna curve around all the way, we can even touch the cheek and then we're gonna stop right here. And then right at the end, we're gonna curve back around and almost like we're gonna connect to where we started. And then we have a little space we could draw a line for the back. You have more space, you could draw, let's see, right about maybe there, and then connect over to the tail. Okay. I love that our two drawings aren't exactly the same. The next time I draw mine, I'm gonna slide it over just a little bit. Mm -hmm. But it looks awesome, it's turning out perfect. Okay, now let's draw one more leg in the back. We're gonna draw the front and also the back that kind of match, just like we did over here. Yeah, and then let's draw the paw coming out, curving around, and then this time I'm gonna connect to the foot, the other foot since I'm close, and we can just imagine that going and connecting to the back of the leg, and then add the two toe lines. Let's add one more detail to the inside of the ear. See this line right here? I'm gonna draw a curve coming up that matches, and then back down. And then let's do the same thing over here on the left side, up and back down. Hadley, we did it. We finished drawing our cute Pomeranian. Well, we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, my favorite part. We are gonna fast forward, so remember to pause the video if you want to use our drawings as inspiration to color your drawings. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. We did it! We finished coloring and drawing our Pomeranians. They look so much better all colored in. Yes, and very cute. Very cute. I hope our art friends will pause the video and take time to color their drawings too. If you have the same biannual marker set, we used Y416, that's the main orange or brown color that we used for the outside. And then for the lighter brown or tan color, we used... Y900. Y900, yeah. And then the pink we used is... R605. Yeah. But you can use whatever you have at home to color your drawings with. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your Pomeranian. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.